I let the neighbor drive my car and he was trying to get it on two wheels sideways and it's only front wheel drive now. So let's show you that. Second day of ownership, only the front wheel spin and the back drive shafts do not. Okay, so now I can show you a better demonstration. So there's the center. It's spinning both the front and the rear. But on the rear, that piece has disconnected. Interesting. So, Okay, okay, if I manually spin this, this is the rear. The front wheels do spin. It's hard to get it to turn. But there you go, so you can see the center is, oh, it's hard to turn it, with my, just my fingers. But it is turning, so, hmm. What in the world is the issue here? Okay, so now it's connected and I can turn it. E and it's spinning the front wheels but not the back wheels. Okay. So it's something with that dip in the rear. Interesting. Hmm, okay. Well, that's all good. Poor kid felt bad, but it's not his fault. I mean, I'll, I'll let him drive it. And I'm definitely not at all upset because I need to learn this platform anyway. So I'll be figuring out what I need to do to fix it. Okay, so Traxxas Sledge. Neighbor borrowed it. I let him play with it. He was trying to get it on two wheels and it failed. So we thought it was just a screw. Uh, it holds this in, right? Because when you spin the front wheels, that spins. The back wheel does not spin. Now, interestingly enough, you spin the wheels and it's you can't see it in my video right now, but you can see that where the Bearing, why was that so hard to think of? Where the bearing is, so if I push this back, this thing is loose. I'm pushing it back now. Okay, it's still not doing it, but it did earlier. All right, let's wrench on it, I guess. I mean, what choice do I have? The only issue now being how the heck does, does it all work? So this probably has to come off. I, I would love to know why I can turn the front and back wheels by spinning this drive cup. But when I spin the wheels, because the front wheels, I can, it makes this whole thing spin but the back. And there's just no room, so I've got to figure out how to separate the back from the front, like, I'm assuming I've got to take this bottom thing off here to get this bulkhead out, maybe. <laughs> this is so ghetto. <laughs> All right, let's see if it'll just come out on its own without taking the whole thing apart. I'm assuming this isn't gonna work because uh, I'm gonna have to take the back in and separate it to fix the, the fact that it's not screwed in. So this is the bottom, come on. Okay. Long ones are in the bottom. Please be the same. Top ones are the same, okay. Top screws are the same. <laughs> Freaking already taken this thing apart on the day after I got it. Is this the same? Eh, hey, even those look the same, okay. All six of these screws look to be the same. All right, let's see if this will come out without... No, it's what I thought. So unless I'm just not pulling hard enough. Let's see, I need a flathead. I guarantee you I gotta take the bottom skid plate okay it's all tied into the bottom skid plate this desk man <laughs> need to 
rearrange stuff. Okay, so taking off the bottom. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Gosh dang it. And of course, that one's too small because it's not the right one. Shouldn't really buy screws. Hope you got some screws, Nick, because these screws. Oh, nope. Oh, wait. <laughs> Do you got some of these screws, Nick? <laughs> Gonna need some of those. All right, that one's long. This middle one here is long. All right, now there's the two here. I imagine these would be different. Oh, those are very long. They just keep going, just keep going. And they're different from that middle one right here. So this one's, oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's skinnier and it's um, a little bit shorter, but it's quite long. So, okay. Get this screw. Oh yeah, I can feel it. There we go. Interesting. Oh, look at that, little surprise. It says rear. Oh, and it comes apart. Interesting. Oh, okay. Sweet. Let me get that better on video. So there it is. It comes apart. It goes in. And it says rear. I'm going to go ahead and put these two screws right here. And boom. So now we can remove <laughs> uncharted here. Oh, there we go. Okay. So this goes like that. It's got a D on it. It's gonna be upside down when the truck's upside down. It goes in like that. All right, now, no? Oh, maybe I gotta separate the arms. That's very interesting. So there's the drive shaft. Now can I separate it? Oh, look at that, it's coming out. Why are you being a booger? Aha, there we go. Look at that. Oh, is it real? Okay. Okay, so there's the center drive shaft fills, or sorry, rear. It feels fine. Like, I don't notice anything odd. I gotta remember it goes in like this. It goes with the teeth. Everything's fine. That is super greasy. That's awesome. Okay, so now let's take a look at this. Does that come out? I need some pliers. Ah, it's hard to get a hold of it. Okay, so I got, aha. So it's just a pin. And the bear, this is what I was seeing spin. Okay, this might be an easy fix. Cause this is, this is what, when I saw it inside the bearing and I saw something spinning, this was it. And it's fine. It just doesn't have the little, it doesn't have the little pin. The concern now being how do I get that thing <laughs> so there, here you go. Look at this. Ah, what the heck? There's that. So it connects here with a pin. Oh, that's what, that's what was happening. So I would turn this and uh, it, it needed that pin in there. So this goes to that sympathy. How, the problem is, I probably gotta take the rear end apart, off, like separate it. But that is unknown at this time. So it's in, it's surrounded by three here on each side. So it's that like middle one. I'm doing that to remind myself. Oh yeah, it's got that, forgot about that. 
<laughs> it's uh it's it's got the the um you need English is so hard today. You need the little a little wrench. I thought I thought I read one somewhere. Here it is. Are you just so happen to be the right size? Five millimeter? Probably not. Nope, it's bigger than five millimeter. <laughs> this is what I had on the ground. So, all right, well, interesting. No idea how this separates. Because to get this all like in there and a pin on it and everything, I need this separated. So how does it separate? Oh. Could it be that simple? No, probably not. Cause there's two screws here. One, two. How? Hmm. It's probably all these screws. Here's the thing. I don't want to just start taking every screw off of here. Cause like I can see that this screw has something to do with all this. This screw has something to do with this bottom bar, but Maybe not these. I don't freaking know. This is insane. <laughs> I am nervous. I guess I will head to Hobby Haven. All right, so we got it pretty far apart. I was using a different, uh, I was like, uh, I have video sort of, of taking it apart. I know I think I know where everything goes. And I picked up some new things. One of the screws was a little difficult to get out and I think it was this one. So I got some more screws and they are the right ones, yay. Uh, they only had two packs of these. I would have bought more packs because honestly I don't, yeah, these. once you pull these screws out, you won't want to reuse them. I don't know what I'm doing. I do know that well, I don't know anything. <laughs> so, I gotta figure out what screws I need to take out and what screws I don't. So all I can really think of at this point is to go ahead and undo all of these screws. At least these four. This one's real small. And this one's bigger. Okay, so it looks like it's also these two screws here. So I think it's these... I might be able to leave these in. I don't know. But I know it's gonna be these. This middle one, possibly these. No, those those don't look like it would be it. And then these. Let's go deeper. Yeah, that's a 2.0. That's a 2.5. Um. Ah! I need a way to actually do this the right way. I don't know if it's one or if it's both. Oh, it's separated. It is that one, but it's still being held on by something. What is it? Oh, it's the T-bar. It's this, it's this beam thing here. How does that come off? All right. We've made some progress. Don't think it has anything to do with those two screws, because it, oh. How does this beam come off? Okay, I probably don't, maybe I don't have to go any further. All right, so the issue was with this guy. Now I'll put a screw in that. Part number 9587 comes with two screws, this boot, and drive cups. So we're gonna go ahead and use a new boot. Oh, how would you use a new boot? Huh. I truly don't know how this would work. Okay, well we're not using a new boot then. Because I don't know how that would fit in there. Something would have to come off. The question is to use the new drive cup or not. Well, let's say no. So this is pretty common sense. This, this would be the side that it like ends at and this is where it begins at. So we'll match the smaller hole with the smaller hole and we'll put that in there. And then we'll just screw this in. Okay, that's such a weird, weird thing. Don't, what? So, oh, I'm doing something wrong. We need this guy involved. 
<laughs> now the question is, can I do it like that? No, I will not. I will have to put this in so it sticks out. You can see it right there. I may have just wasted a whole bunch of time trying to get the chassis apart. Safe to say I wouldn't call this a guide. It's just your average Joe who has a broken RC car and refuses to accept that it's broken. Okay, having some, there we go. Okay, so it did help having some leverage. Now it's a matter of getting this. Oh, you are being a pain. I need you to go back. This is why how-to videos on repairing RC cars is, uh, what the frick? All right, let's, let's figure this out. All right, so let's do it. Let's do it a different way. Why won't the boot go back? This is so frustrating. If I could figure out how to get this back off, this would all be resolved. It's this beam. Oh my God. There's no way it was that simple. There's no way it was that simple. Okay. I gotta take a picture of this. This is insane. Where's my phone? All right, we've got to figure out how to get this in there. Okay, so the boot. All right, let's move the boot up. Put the drive cup on. You may not be able to see much. Got this fancy tripod years ago. Let's use it. Okay, so now we'll find that pin. Now let's secure it. Okay. Sweet! Yay! Now it's the process of getting it back together. <laughs> New mistake. So I'm sitting here spinning this like, why won't the wheel spin? Dry <laughs> Rear differential's not connected. Ah, uh, I thought I was like, what did I do? Come on. I got it in. All right, it is connected. I'm gonna secure the drive shaft or the T-bar, whatever. Woo! Lord, let me remember where all this stuff goes. 24 hours late. I'm gonna post this on another day, but today is April 1st. I got this thing yesterday morning, so it's been 24 hours. Okay, I gotta have that go in more. Ah! Okay, so it's threaded. All right. We have these um, side things here that we didn't have to remove, but you know, I'm new to this car. It's okay. I know from now on that these don't need removed. The bottom screw to the chassis, yes. Now getting it in there. <laughs> okay, sweet. Awesome, okay. I do believe these were the back screws for the wheelie bar or for the, oh, you can't even see that. But there's two screws that are very, it's very obvious where they go. I did pick up some extras in case I lose that screw. It's eight bucks, not a big deal. I'm gonna put this back in. Let me see if I can move you down. There we go, okay. So all six of these screws are gonna go in here. This is like an impact screwdriver, so I go slow at the end. The moment it provides the resistance and stops, I know to stop. Cause this thing will go hard. Yeah, I'm not even like turning, I'm not even letting off the button, I'm just letting it do it. All right, let's get those bottom screws on. All right, so this one right here, this one, these two. All right, now I don't know if I wanna, hmm, I don't know, man. 
Okay. <laughs> this is, this is, I ain't gonna lie, I'm actually enjoying this. I, I'm not watching a video, it, it came out 24 hours ago, uh, I'm just learning as I go. So, get this drive shaft in the left side here, we'll put the pin in, put this little bar goes down so there's not much I can do on this side the rest is done hey now when I spin the back wheels I can feel the front wheels I totally should have picked up some skid plates wow you can't see much there we go I should have picked up some skid plates it's okay that goes in holy shoot Oh, what the hell? Oh, oh. At least you can't see the blue. It's not blue anymore. <laughs> Rubbed all the blue off. What the frickin' frick? What the? <laughs> That's how it's supposed to go. See, if I hadn't put these screws back where I got them, I would have thought I was doing this wrong. I think we're good to go. What the frick? Oh, there's a slit. Kiss my ass. Oh, it's in one side. Ah, okay, so I'm gonna put these screws in right here, but I'm gonna use new screws. Two, five, four, six. All right, so now this piece goes in there. All right, now that long one here, which I need to buy more of those. Now, hopefully, hopefully, these screws <laughs> See, look at those screws for the front. I'm gonna keep a buttload of these. Here's the old ones. Find one that's not tore to hell. Uh, probably that one. You know what? Yeah, let's do that one. Okay. So now let me zoom out. If all went well, when I spin these front tires, the back should spin as well. Ha ha ha. All of that because a pin that goes through here, goes through here, and also the, you know, the um, input that goes through here. Oh, the, the, the screw fell out. The screw fell out. Sweet. All right, turn the remote on. Connect the battery. Turn the truck on. And now, ha <laughs> ha success. That right there was the culprit. And now we're good. Give the video a thumbs up, please. Really, truly, I mean, if, if you are stuck like I was, know that you need to remove one screw here then that slides out there's no screw here to remove you don't have to remove these two and uh on the bottom you don't remove this one here i i didn't out of okay well i see these two are side by side so that probably has something to do with the transmission these four maybe oh, probably so i just removed this one and and that was correct that removes the center long thing and then this one and then these two Oh, you don't have to remove these. Yeah, so that's awesome. You've got basically two, three, four screws for the chassis. These five screws, four of these were all the same. One of them's long. I'm gonna buy some replacement long ones. I would do su suggest when you see your screws starting to look horrible to replace them 
so you don't find yourself having to use a drill and tapping them out and everything. But yeah, <laughs> give the video a thumbs up, please. Thank you. Uh, subscribe for more RC content. This is Josh Does RC, and I'm out.